Hey, a pleasant good day, everybody. This is Sports Fanatic News. I'm Joe Borick, and this is going to be the next edition of the grittiest take a reaction to the Flyers 5 4 hard fought. Not the sexiest of wins, but a win is a win against the Buffalo Sabres. They outshot them 33. 220. Uh, it was not obviously the sweetest of games. The Flyers were able to get out to an early lead on a nice goal by JVR, who stays hot and just keeps scoring the puck with ease and now has 11 goals of 16 assists for 27 points on the season, assist by Faraby and Sean Couturier, who both stay hot themselves. But then they left Reinhardt open, who got the assist from Cousins, the young um, up and coming player, and Taylor. Ho and uh, Taylor Hall, yes. And then Riley Sheehan was able to score, assisted by Stahl and Olofsson. They just kind of let him go out in front of the net. And you have to be able to block out a play. You can't just let players get to the front of your net. Um, that wasn't a good play there. Then they left Reinhardt open again. I mean, the Sabres team is a struggling bunch. But they have a roster that makes them kind of bring the question why they stink so much and struggle so much. Obviously, part of that has to be locker room or something, but there's no need to get into that now. But if you leave players such as Reinhardt, who got his 11th tally, I mean, if you leave those guys open, they're going to finish. Um, Riley Sheehan's a guy that's not always going to, but if you let him battle in front of the net, most guys, if you let them get the battle in front of the net and win the battle in front of the net, are going to be able to finish and score. Uh, luckily, Kevin Hayes has been able to stay hot on offense. He was able to capitalize with one there. Then Monter got one back. The big thing I took from this game was fight. The Flyers did not obviously play one of their best overall games, but they definitely fought and battled in this game to be able to even get it to a shootout because they really did not play that great of a game. So I think that just shows really how much this team has been able to fight through anything, whether it's the Kobe guys that were out, um, having struggling def defense when it comes to especially the bottom line, like I've said in many past videos, our bottom line has never been graded that well, no matter who we've put there defensively. That's why I think we definitely need to add in one more defenseman. But a big thing yesterday was Ghost had a couple off games after looking great last week. Um, so now he was able to come back in and score a key goal, which was the game-tying goal in this game. So he showed fight. Through a couple of games, he did not look like the Gostas Bear of old, like we were all saying he was. He looked a little struggle bunny, and then he bounced right back and looked very solid in this game. And that was Couturier and Fairby getting assists yet again. So obviously, Coots and Fairby are stars of this game yet again. You got Voracek as the veterans, along with Provy, teaming up for Daru's goal. That made it 4-3, to three. and then you have Patrick putting on a sick move on Johansson in the shootout. And the big thing about this game was... Carter Hart started. Um, they got him out. I think that was a good thing. I mean, the team did not defend well in front of him. They left Reinhardt, who was obviously a good finisher, with the puck open both times, and that's not acceptable. You allowed a guy to get in front of the net, install and, and Olsen and Sheehan to be able to battle for a puck and get in. That's three different guys. When you have bigger defense on your team, that should be able to battle them out of there. So I think they didn't defend the net very well for Hart. But I think it's a good idea when a goalie gives up three that early to kind of put somebody else in there, let Brian Elliott play, and let him play very well. The goal that he allowed, he kind of had no contest on the Brandon Montour um, goal. It was a weird goal that ended up hitting something, and then it had ended up going over Elliott, so that's just the way that was. Uh, he's a player that I know has been in trade rumors, so you wonder if, as a righty defenseman, he's someone the Flyers look to who I believe is on an expiring contract, so it seems like they're looking, other than Ekholm, who's been in rumors, to guys that are on expiring contracts, like the Nick Jomersons of the world, or the Brandon Montours, or people along those elk. Uh, Jamie Baskell writes great articles about that on Flyers Nitty Gritty. Definitely check him out over there. But my takeaways from this game is just fight and grit again. This team just showed they can battle through not playing their best of game. Fairby and Couturier were, of course, stars of the game. Again, they had assists on JVR's goal as well as Gostas Bear's game-tying goal. And then JVR was, of course, a star who was able to score early. G has continued to succeed. He now has four goals. And um, that was assisted by Voracek and Provorov. So I would say coming in to be able to stabilize 
Uh, my third star of the game would definitely be Moose. My second star of the game would be Fairby for getting the two assists. And my first would just be Couturier because he does it all. He got the two assists, but he's also the guy that really stabilizes in every game the defense. Makes everyone play through him the best they possibly can be. Makes them all their best selves around him. And when you have Fairby, who's another player that's young and budding, who already is a player... Uh, with JVR, who at his best like he is this year as a player that makes others around him better. That's why that line is so efficient and productive. And it's going to be great to see, hopefully, those guys continue to have that efficiency and production going forward. But again, filthy move by Patrick to be able to capitalize and uh, be able to get the winning goal in the shootout there. So I think the Flyers need to carry this fight and perseverance mentality into playing Washington, you have to be able to really battle this team. It was a very disappointing effort, obviously, in the 3-1 to one loss to Washington on Sunday. Tomorrow at 7 o'clock, the Flyers have to play a much better game. You have to look out for the normal guys, the Ovechkins of the world, the Baxters of the world. Obviously, Vron is a guy you definitely cannot sleep on. Great straight-line skater. But I'll do a preview for that game tomorrow. But this has been a reaction, the grittiest take by Sports Fanatic News. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And subscribe to Flyers, Nitty Gritty, and Steel Flyers as well. And I hope everyone has a great, safe, and pleasant day and enjoys all of the great hockey action that is on today. Peace out, everybody.